now we study about wavelength division multiplexing in short wdm so first here we get inputs which are optical sources 1 denoted as lambda 1 optical source 2 l2 lambda 2 optical source 3 lambda 3 or optical cells optical source n that is lambda n number of inputs so when it is then it is connected to wdm devices then dmux then optical detector lambda 1 so on to lambda n that is outputs this is the simple wdm that is word wavelength division multiplexing second type is bidirectional wdm that is optical source detector wdm devices wdm devices bidirectional detector lambda 1 optical source lambda 2 so in short what is it wdm utilize only information capacity of an optical cable the optical sources works on very narrow spectrum around 0.85 micrometer to 0.85 to 1.3 micrometer the optical fiber has very small attenuation in the wavelength range 0.85 to 1.6 micrometer and hence server light sources working on a properly spaced big emission wavelength could be simultaneously used with a single fiber provided that no crosstalk take place with individual source A process of sending the information is known as wavelength division multiplexing. It is a process of sending information. WDM can be achieved by two ways, simple WDM or bidirectional diagram. Basic performance criteria for WDM techniques are insertion loss arises due to the presence of multiplexing and demultiplexing devices. Second, channel width. It is defined as a wavelength range allocated to an optical source working with WDM. Crosstalk. It amount of the coupling that may take place from one optical source to other. These are the three techniques or criteria of WDM techniques, performance criteria. So that is our WDM, wavelength division multiplexing.